You guys still trying to break through there? Okay, you can break through there too. Oh, they're almost through. Okay. <laughs> Way to go, Big Mama! Oh shit! Edgar, are you dead? Yep, yeah, he's dead. Whew! Okay. <laughs> ah, I love it. Explosives are really fun in this game. Welcome back, everybody, to 70 to Die. This is the Insane Nightmare Speed tutorial, and I am an old guy gaming. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue the series for just a little bit longer because I heard back from some of you guys in the comments and some of you, I, I kind of had like a bit of a mixed response on whether or not we should uh, continue the series here, uh, the tutorial series. Some of you more or less said, yeah, I'd like you to see you do a few more episodes. Some of you said, I can't wait for you to get started on Ravenhurst, um, that sort of thing. So I think what we'll do is uh, one suggestion was to take this series all the way through the end of Horde Night 7. So I think we will do that for sure. And then, you know, we'll kind of reassess and see where we are at that point. Um, one way or the other, though, we're not going to continue this series for a lot longer because uh, here again, this is not intended to be a Let's Play. This is just a short tutorial to get you on your feet and started uh, with the insane Nightmare Speed settings. So always keep that in mind. But that's, you know, that doesn't mean we can't do a few more episodes, though. Uh, and so I think that's what we're going to do. I might go ahead and start the Ravenhurst series also, though, in conjunction with this, knowing that this, you know, is it going to be a short lived series. So we'll see how things go. It's just kind of depends upon, you know, how my time goes, that sort of thing. OK, so we got that out of the way. Uh, let's make ourselves one more bacon and eggs here. Uh, we got some glue there, too, that we made so we can do more duct tape. OK, so we'll get that going. Uh, I'm. I got, uh, basically I have like food and medical in here. This is supposed to be resources-ish. Uh, uh, this is a tool. That's a medical item. That's kind of a food item. The rest of this is mostly resources. It's not like perfectly sorted, but it's, it's you know, in general, a pretty good uh, arrangement. I'm going to take these jars with us so we can fill them up when we get close to a water source. Uh, we have two red teas for tea, and we could actually make some more red teas too. Let's do that. Uh, that's kind of our primary beverage for the moment so we're gonna need about a minute and yep, we've got plenty of cook time left so we have five bacon and eggs so we're doing pretty good on food let's get that back in there i'm just gonna stick the glue in the parts bin for now um we have 1300 coin let's actually grab that coin and take it with us because uh, i want to stop over by the trader and see uh, what he's got we're also going to sell a few things while we're over there too uh, and we'll just check his inventory. See, I don't think I don't think we need an engine, and we can get 800 coins for just this battery alone. So let's uh, take that over there too. Uh, we don't need the bicycle handlebars any longer, and I think we'll keep the rest of that for now. Okay, so in terms of repair kits, I've got seven repair kits, and I'm not going to repair all of this stuff because uh, some of it's just not going to be worth repairing. Like these orange cloth pieces aren't worth repairing, but I think the orange scrap pieces are. Uh, so let's repair those. This green padded glove is, gloves are going to be worth repairing. And I think the rest of this we're going to sell straight up because it's not going going to be worth repairing. Let's put the electrical tool thingamadoodle in there. That doesn't go in there. Um, I'm going to grab these landmines. We might put those to use at some point uh, when we go out and about. And I think we're good to go, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're good to go. I'm going to drink... Mm, yeah, let's have one bacon and eggs that'll get us a little little bit of health back as well as food and then let's just drink this yuck and now uh, to get our our hydration back up and i think we're good so let's head on over to the trader before uh he closes tonight we now have our mini bikes so we're doing really good with that but yeah we'll uh we'll do we'll, we'll take this series all the way through the end of horde night seven like i said and then at that point we'll kind of see where we're at if i feel like I've taken you far enough to where, you know, you guys can stand on your own and go from there. We'll end it. If I feel like we need to go just a little bit longer and show you a few more things, we'll do that. So we'll kind of assess the situation once we get to the end of Horde Night 7. So we're looking at probably two, three-ish more episodes, I'm thinking, something like that. All right, let's hop out. Run on in here. Oh, let's close this. Do not leave that door open. Not a good idea.
this better be good. Okay, so we're gonna sell first. So we currently have thirteen ninety three coin. Um, so sell that, that. I think that was everything we were gonna sell. Okay, so that gets us up to thirty one sixteen. All right, let's see what he has for sale here. Let's look at weapons. So he's got a compound. Oh, he's got a double barrel. Oh, he's got a pump shotgun, you guys. For 3840. Oh man. Okay, we got to get that. We've got to get that. Um so let's see. We're going to do this quest this clear quest. We'll get some money for that and then if that doesn't get us enough money or even if it does uh get us enough money to get this, uh we're going to see if we can go after that treasure. The problem with that treasure is it's in the freaking snow bomb. It's going to be so damn dangerous, but I think it's going to be worth trying because if we can get our hands on this, um, that's going to go a long ways uh, towards our survivability. Uh, what do you got in Secret Stash? If he had shotgun parts, we could make uh, we could make a double barrel because we learned the schematic. But I'd rather actually have the pump, anyways. Thank God you're All right. done browsing. Very good. So we just need to come up with about 800 ish more coin. I'm not sure how much we'll get for completing this quest, but we'll find out when we complete it. Okay, let's head on over this way and um, do this clear quest. I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, so this is our clear quest. Uh, I'm not going to double loot. Let's just go in and do it. So uh, first thing we're going to do is see if there's anybody in here. There is not. Okay, so let's go on into the house. Uh, we're going to want to secure this so stuff doesn't come in from the outside, particularly because it's almost nighttime and we're going to be in this house during the night which is going to very likely attract outside attention that we don't really want. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's secure this. So we're going to, I'm going to bust these blocks out here. Okay. And then we're going to put um, those in there and I'm going to put a wood block here. So what this is going to allow us to do, let me get my hammer back down here. If anything from the outside tries to get in, well, they still could potentially jump up there. So we're going to just put, we're just going to put that block there, but we're not going to, uh, we're not going to upgrade it. That should theoretically prevent anything from outside uh, to being able to jump in here. But if we have to retreat, we can still run through here, pull this block out, and run outside to our mini bike. All right, so I think that'll keep us relatively secured in here. Uh, let's go ahead and start working the house now. And this is a clear quest, of course, so we're going to have to kill everything that we come across. We are going to need some torch action. I'm going to get rid of the coal and the glass. We don't need that. Uh, let's get the torches down here on our toolbar. And we have some uh, landmines that we might employ, too, at some point. We'll just see how that goes. Okay, let's loot the cupboard. Good. Uh, we got leather here, so let's harvest the leather from both of these guys. We're going to be trying to get the uh, the radiators, too. I might wait until we clear the house completely before we do that, though, because it is going to attract some attention uh, because it makes noise. We will hit the pictures to see if there's any safes behind them. And move on through the house here. Okay, there's something up here, possibly a nothing. There's a nothing up there. Okay, I was just checking in the corners because sometimes there's those like little panels that you can open up with stuff in them. Let's get rid of those. Uh, let's make sure we're fully loaded. That's always a good thing to do. Okay, no zombies so far. Okay, we got a couple red dots. So we got a red dot up that way or behind the stairs and one over here. Okay, so there's Zombo right there. Um, 
I don't know if there's someone right behind the stairs or not, so we're gonna just do this so we're not surprised by anything. And let's deal with this dude first. Alright, yeah, so I don't know where that other Zombo is. Okay, you're dead. Is that other zombie upstairs? Oh no, she is right there. Okay. Okay, so we dispatched both of them. Uh, there's a purse behind here. With some water. Nice. We'll take that. Okay, let's get this out. It's going to start getting dark now. So I'll try and keep the torch out as much as possible. Let's check in here. Make sure there's no Zika Roos. There shouldn't be because I don't see any red dots. Nice. We'll take honey. Absolutely take honey. We're going to pick up the chairs for wood. How about some coffee? No coffee. What's in here? Nice, duct tape and pain pills. Very good find. And we got another wrench, too. I'll take it. I'll take it. Check the stove. Get a little bit of iron. Hey, I'm not worried about these triggers here because we've pretty much cleared everything in this immediate vicinity. Check these cupboards. Excellent. Oh, nice. We got some ravioli. We'll probably just end up eating that as soon as possible. Okay, we could hit these radiators, but we do have Zeke's from the outside. So, yeah, let's just hold off the radiators. I hope radiators. I hope I don't forget them, though, because there's a lot of radiators. I'm seeing a lot of them. They're going to give us a good supply of brass. Time to move upstairs. Okay, close all doors that we can. Let's upgrade that. I'm going to put one torch in the hallway here just so we have some light. Uh, we need to check this closet first. That made a hell of a lot of noise. Okay, is anybody in here? Nobody standing near the entrance, but we got a red dot over that way. So something's probably almost certainly going to break out that door there. Um, so that being the case, let's um, do this. So we can secure. All right, so we've got uh, nothing in here. See, I told you. I told you and I told you. She's moving around so much I can hardly hit her. Oh, for goodness sakes. There we go. We got the attention of someone outside, too. Okay, just in case we get zombos that break in the house and try and get up here, let's break these stairs out so that way we don't have to worry about anything coming up from down below. Okay, and we'll put a couple wood frames uh, here just to discourage any jumpers. We need to make a few more wood frames too. Let's do that. So we're basically just kind of covering our our back, uh, our our back trail here, you know, just in case um, dudes, zombos come in, you know, from down below. Okay, so we should be secure from anything coming from downstairs for now. The AI, AI might not even see that as a path at all. Okay, 
let's go in here next. Okay, we've got a closet here. It has somebody in there. Okay, it looks like just one Zeker. So we'll put this down here. And it's cheerleader. Hello, cheerleader. Okay. So we just uh, managed our stamina with her. We got a luggage rack with some cat food. I think we're going to eat that right now. So we could stand to actually eat a little bit of food. Let's get rid of the glass. We don't need it. We'll get rid of the iron. We don't need it. Uh, this is also lootable, and it's got some stuff -a doodle in it. Nice. We'll take that. Okay, let's block this and poke our head into this room here. There is a closet right up there. Can't tell if that actually had a Zombaruski in it or not. Let's put that down there. Close that door. Yes, there is a Zombaruski in there. So what we're going to do is make sure we're loaded up here. We're going to grab this. Uh, actually, maybe we won't grab that because I cannot see anything. Put that back. Oh, I didn't get it down in time. My God, you're fast, lady. Holy crap, I can't believe how fast she got to us. Okay. <laughs> well, that could have gone worse than it did. Let's get our arrow back. Man, she did not waste any time getting the old guy, did she? Holy crapola. Okay, we'll loot, scrap. Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll scrap stuff later. Ooh, nice. These are college jackets, guys. Frickin' A. Okay, that's going to help us when we go into the snow, and it helps us run faster. We'll sell this other one. We found two of them. Very nice find. Okay, I'm pretty sure all the Zeeks were here in our outside. Okay, that one zombie came out of that bathroom. Let's close that door. Nobody in here. Check the toity. And what is in here? We got a weathered backpack with a flashlight. Okay, we're good to go uh, up to this point. Let's grab our other torch. I don't see anybody coming up from down below. That's probably above us, I'm thinking. Um, because we got a little yellow dot right there. There's something up on that ledge there, and there's probably some zombos up there too. Uh, is this just, this is just a normal window, right? Not one of those, I'm going to jump out and scare the hell out of you thingies. Okay, got some yucca juice there. We got to keep an eye on this thing up here. The yellow dot is not moving, so that means that's a sleeper that hasn't woken up yet. Let's just very carefully pop our head up here and take a look. Okay, we got a closet there. I would say there's a high probability that there's a Zikaru in that closet. So let's put a light down so we can see what the heck we're doing. No, there does not seem to be a Zeke in that closet. Okay, let's block that. Check the bookcase. 
Yeah, there's a Zeke. There's an Ed. Ooh, there's three Zombos in there. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get that doubled up. Okay, let's just let them break out of there. And we're gonna back up to here. And wait. I hope we're not too close to those. You guys still trying to break through there? Okay, you can break through there too. Oh, they're almost through. Okay. <laughs> Way to go, Big Mama! Oh shit! Edgar, are you dead? Yep, yeah, he's dead. Whew! Okay. <laughs> ah, I love it. Explosives are really fun in this game. Gotta gotta throw that out there. Explosives are really fun in this game. Okay, let's drink this yucca to counter the pain pill. And uh, how's our food? I'm gonna eat the ravioli now. Well, how much health is that gonna give us? Seven bacon eggs is gonna give us 18. Yeah, let's eat the bacon eggs. I know some of you are thinking I should keep the ravioli for spaghetti later on, but trust me, we're not going to get far enough in this playthrough to get to the point where we're going to be able to make spaghetti. So, you know, as I always say, a ravioli can in the hand is better than two plates of spaghetti in the bush. So remember that. Words to live by, boys and girls. Okay. Um, so can we pick these back up? I don't think we can. Well, I'm surprised it didn't set them off too. Really surprised, but is what it is. Okay. Let's see what's in the nightstand here. Um, just a normal jacket and, uh, has 13 cold resist, but it doesn't have the run thing on it that, uh, what are we wearing? Okay. That has two. Yeah. These are exactly the same. So we're just going to scrap that. Okay. So we've got a backpack here with, uh, well, no, that's not. A yellow prim primitive bow is not better than a level one normal wooden bow. Let's reload our weapons. I don't think there's going to be any Zikaroos in here. Oh yeah, it says return to the trader too. Okay, fan freaking fantastic. Let's open this up here. Actually, let's close that just just in case. You never know. You never know. Still got a bunch of outdoor Zeeks that want to eat our face. We'll take that. That's a tiny, tiny upgrade from the current one, so we'll scrap that. We do have that you're never encumbered at night thing, uh, so that's good. Uh, that we don't care about. We're going to scrap it, but we will take those. Give us some antibiotics. Okay, we'll take vitamins. How about an iron pickaxe? That would be fantastic. Even an iron fire axe would be nice. Uh, that's another step up. Okay, scrap that. And we got some iron. And now for the fat loots. What do we got in here? We got those, those, those. This is going to be worth selling, but we are out of space. This is probably barely worth selling. Uh, those we can scrap. This we can scrap. Okay, so we need to make room for four. We should already have nine meals. Yeah, we do. And we should already have those. We need to make room for three things. So let's take a look at our inventory here. And see what we can do. Um, so this is sells for 70. That sells for 70. So we're going to keep those as is. Uh, we can scrap those. We can scrap that. All easy to make. Uh, 14 paper is nice, but not too hard to come by. We don't need 12 nitrate. 37 iron. Kind of hate to do that, but again, not that hard to come by. This would give us a little tiny bit of money. This would give us enough money to hang on to. We're not going to throw a wrench away. So, okay, we don't have a, a steroid, do we? We do not. 
Okay, well, then what we're going to have to do is try and make it back to our bike before daytime when we run out of our, our encumbrance bonus. It's too bad that uh, we can't pick those back up, but we can't. And we're also, I also want to do some looting too, but we don't have room. Yeah, or not looting, I'm sorry, salvaging. So let's just work on trying to get back to the bike first. Those zombies sound like they're close by. They're probably trying to get up the stairs here. Okay, how many of you are there? There's a decent number of them. Um, we could just run out and jump on our bike and ride off because we don't have to stay here. Draw the zombos off and then come back and, you know, get the radiators and that sort of thing. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's um, offload. And, oh, I guess I do have some stuff in here, too. All right, so things that we want to keep and not sell, we're going to put in here. That's not worth selling, We and I should have already just grabbed. Oh, we got Molotovs, too. We, we might use those to deal with those Zomparoos if we have to. We could go run and fill these up with some water. Oh, I got a pure mineral water. Nice. Okay. This stuff I'm probably going to sell just because, again, we probably won't get far enough in this playthrough to where we're going to be making that. Same thing with the motor tool parts. Uh, we'll get a decent amount of cash from those things. We're going to keep those. We're going to keep those. I guess I'll keep one flashlight um, since we have two, so we'll sell the second one. Uh, we can put the spare wrench in there. But where does that leave us? Those two things can go in there. How are we doing on beverage? We're a little low. We might as well just drink this now. That'll free us up another slot. And yeah, you know what? Let's do... Let's go to... Just looking here. Let's go get uh, fill up these jars here. And then we'll come back to this house. And maybe by then some of them... Uh, zomboids will have cleared out and we can go back in and get all those uh, radiators and, and all that other stuff uh, salvaged. Okay, so we need to basically go to bet there isn't like a swimming pool or something in this town, but nothing that I can see. Uh, so we're going to have to kind of go back this direction, I guess. All right, guys, I uh, found a little bit of water right here. Let's grab that. And um, isn't there usually like a purse or something to loot in this? Yeah, right here. It's a backpack. Some more cat food. Yeah, yes. Okay, so we got the water. Let's head on back. Oh, I want to show you guys something Many of you have probably already seen me do this or seen somebody else do it or have done it yourself. But um, in case you haven't, there's a really super easy uh, way to loot uh, or get to some end loot over here in the... You know, we could even do the dumping one too. Yeah, let's double loot this place too because why the hell not? Uh, this one's easy to do too, but actually it's at the at the funeral home. Um, very, very easy to get to end loot. So I'll, I'll, we'll do this one and we'll do that one too while we're waiting for daylight. Edgar? Okay, let's pull Edgar away from here. Come down here, close that door, and then there is, on the off chance that some of you have not 
I've been down here before. Most of you probably have. Uh, there's a few trashes to loot, and then there's the fat loots, and then there's some cobblestone. And then uh, there's also a hidden stash down here, too, that I'll show you. Okay, so over here we've got an ammo pile. Back underneath here is the secret. Nice. We're going to... Mm, that doesn't actually sell for very much, does it? Okay. A chamois crate here. And this is another chamois crate. Sometimes these can be shoddy messiahs too. Okay, let's see what's in the fat loots. Oh, I was going to say... Okay, I was going to say I don't remember learning that, but it's... Oh, wow, look at this. This is good stuff, guys. Oh, and the motorcycle chassis. Okay, yeah, we'll learn that. Very good stuff. Okay, so we are currently wearing... We're, oh, we're already wearing a yellow. So we got basically 8-8 eight, eight armor on that. This one is 8-8. Eight, eight. So they're essentially the same. So this one we're going to just sell. Um, overall, pretty good loot, though, really. Um, plus more stuff to sell so we can get that shotgun, uh, which is pretty good. Okay, so let's go back on up. Okay, let's send a stripper out down the road, out of the way, and uh, and uh, Y502. Okay, so if you guys didn't already know this, super, super easy to get to the fat loot. So all you basically do here is come right by this car, set down a block, jump up on the block, and bust a hole right here. And there we go. Fat loots, um, upgrades for our armor, and more stuff to sell. Unfortunately, we can't sell that, so we're scrap it. Really good stuff, actually, all things considered. Okay, so let's take the mod off of this. Oh, if when we go into the snow biome, I hope to re I hope I remember to remove that. Um, because well, it should be obvious. We don't want to. Well, actually, hold on a sec. No, it, it still gives us two cold resists, so yeah, we don't need to remove it. It'll actually help. Okay, so we can sell this and make some more bank. And then we've got um, uh, some legging upgrades here too, so let's switch those out. And we can sell these. I'm surprised those don't sell for more than they do, considering that they're, you know, a blue level item. Cool. And then there's also a crate... Uh, or more loot this way, too. So we've got medical stuff, and we've got a shoddy messiah crate. I can get to it. Okay, we're going to have to get a little closer here. There are usually two sleepers right up there, but as long as you're quiet enough, you won't aggro them. What do we have? Shotgun shells. We'll take them. We will take them. Because we're going to need them for our new fancy schmancy new shotgun that we're going to get. Okay, is there anything I can put in here? No. Okay, so these guys are going to be worth repairing uh, with our repair kit. So let's repair that. We'll repair that. We'll repair this. Um, and this is not worth repairing. I don't, I don't think that's worth... Well, what the hell? Let's just do it. Oh, that just requires leather to repair. Do we have leather in here? We do. Even better. So right now it's 36. If we repair it, it's 58. Yeah, that was worth repairing, I think. Okay, so it's 547. Let's go back to our original house and see if we can uh, scrap those radiators that were in there. And then when... Uh, Oh, no, actually, it's 551. The trader's going to open. Well, let, let's just... Let's, bloop, mouth work. Let's go see if we can get those radiators. Ah, shoot. It's got a bunch of Zeeks around, huh? All right. Can we... Can we draw them off? I kind of figured all the Zeeks around here would have buggered off by now. Come on, boys and girls. 
Time for you to leave. Time for you to go home. Time for you to move along because there's nothing to see here. Backpack in the wall there with another flashlight that we can sell. Okay, uh, we are done in this house, and so I'll meet you guys back at the trader. We'll make some money, and we should be able to buy that orange shotgun. I'm pretty excited about that. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Okay. You have coin. So we have one well, slot for the reward. This one. That's Here's 300 coin. Yeah, let's just take this. Okay. Now, uh, let's take another job from him, and we could do a buried supplies if we wanted to now. That would get us some food. Yeah, yeah what the hell? Let's do it. Okay, now, time to sell. So, we're going to sell... Um, nah, I think I'll keep the Magnum Armor now. We're going to sell this. This, that, that. Okay, I think that's everything we wanted to sell. That leaves us with 6,932 coin. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. Okay, now from you. Oh, did you reset on us, you dirty rat? He did reset on day seven, didn't he? Oh, man, that sucks. Okay, well, he has th some shotgun parts and he has a compound bow that would take all of our money. Yeah, man, I, I forgot. Okay. Oh, he's still, oh, he's got a yellow pump shotgun, you guys. And we can buy it. Oh, man. Okay, never mind. We're good. Even as a tactical that we could buy. Hmm. Well, <laughs> that's kind of tempting, actually. But you know what? It's easier to make shotgun shells. We already took a point in shotguns. We don't have a point in rifles yet. They're both yellow, so they're the same quality level, which means I think we can put two mods on them. Hmm, that is so tempting. See, the rifle's gonna, the rifle's gonna be good at close range, but it's also gonna be a little bit better at long range too. Ah, man, I'm, I am don't know, you guys, I'm starting to think we should take that. I really am, just because it's a little more versatile than shotgun's gonna be. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to buy this. Okay, it's done. It's a done deal. And we have no money left. <laughs> we can't, We do have 7.62s back at the base, though. Um, and Time to move on. we can make 7.62s as well. Okay, yeah, that was a change in plans that I wasn't expecting to do, but I think, I think that's the right move. Because here again, I mean, this still is going to be fine up close. You know, it's fully automatic rifle, so we can still... Or no, actually, I think it's a three-round burst, but even with that... Um, you know, we can still do close range work if we need to, but this is going to allow us to, you know, to get a little bit of range into whereas the shotgun's not. So yeah, I think that was the right move. Okay, cool. Moving up in the world, moving up in the world. I don't think we have any money to buy anything out of here. So let's go. All right, you guys. Well, uh, what we're going to do, is, do we have a point now? We have two points. Okay, well, we're, we're obviously going to go to Fortitude and put a point in the Machine Gunner now um, because of the fact that we got this right. And we still have one more point to go. I think what we're going to do is put that into 69er uh, so we can make iron tools and break blocks just a little more quickly than we were able to before. So, all right, well, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Um, it is day seven, 8.30 in the morning on day seven, so we need to come up with a horde solution. I'm going to think about what that horde solution is going to be and uh, probably try and make as much 7.62 ammo as I possibly can between now and night, so that way we have our assault rifle, you know, that we can use for the horde night. And then, you know, just kind of figure out where we're going to go from there. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.